Coming up on New England Ski Journal. We start off the season by taking you to the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo. We'll hear the latest news from some of the New England ski resorts and find what's trending as you get ready to hit the slopes. Boston's World Trade Center was the site recently for the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo. East Coast skiers were able to see the latest in equipment and apparel, as well as check in with their favorite mountains. We started a New Hampshire resort located just two hours north of Boston, Waterville Valley. What's new at Waterville Valley this year? The Green Peak expansion and the Phase 2 expansions are complete, so we're done there. We've expanded our lodge with our new Freestyle Lounge. If you came last year, you saw it in construction. It's all done now. And we even put garage doors on it, so when it gets warm out, we can pop open those garage doors, bring the outside in, because of course we're skiing, so we want to be outside. And that big bar celebrates the history of freestyle skiing. On the second floor, we put new bathrooms on. Every floor of our lodge now has restrooms, and it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it definitely is when you have kids. We're New Hampshire's family resort, and those kids are the most important thing that we can have at the ski area. The big special that we have this season at Waterville Valley is our Kids Ski Free Special. For every adult season pass, a child can ski for free. And it doesn't have to be your child, it can be any child, 12 and under. You can hand that voucher to them and they get the gift of skiing. This is our way of trying to get more children into the sport of skiing. And it's really cool because if you're an adult and you have a passion for skiing, you can make that social connection with the child by handing them a free season pass. So our ski school program for kids at Waterville Valley is one of our pride and joy. We have one of the strongest PSIA instruction groups of any ski resort nationwide. I'd put them up against anybody. And they're so passionate about how they teach skiing, especially for the children. No matter what age you are, our instructors do a wonderful job getting you to your personal next level. Uh, the thing that makes Waterville Valley unique, first and foremost, is our location. We're just two hours outside of Boston, as I say, one stoplight away. Literally, there's only one stoplight from Boston all the way into the resort. We're 10 miles off of 93. On your way in, you go six miles through the National Forest. I call it the romance period. You break away from everything. It makes it so you leave the world behind you. And then you come into Waterville Valley with 540 private acres of a resort community that was developed as a resort community. It's a wonderful place to reconnect, decompress, have a great time, and then go back to real life in only two hours. Hey, welcome to the Brew Minute. We're here at the Woodstock Station in North Woodstock, New Hampshire. My name's Adam, I'm one of the brewers here. Today we're talking about our 4K IPA. It's a really nice West Coast IPA. It's got that bitter backbone backed up with some really nice floral and citrusy hops. It's got a great nose, great flavor, and it really pairs well with our Old Man Burger. It's a locally sourced beef patty from a couple towns over, topped with our pig's ear aged cheddar that's a really nice nutty cheddar and some pecan wood smoked bacon. So a really great burger, really great beer. Come on in after a long day on the slopes and have a burger and a beer and enjoy. We're back at the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo. Let's stay in the White Mountains and see what's going on at Black Mountain. Black Mountain is always sunny. That's definitely one of the most unique things about the mountain. Very few mountains in New England have a southern exposure. We're one of the few left that does. We're a very small family-owned mountain. We have been for 85 years. No glitz or glamour to us, per se. It's traditional, classic New England skiing. We have the family five pack starting again this year. It's uh, five tickets at $239, really good value. We have an updated ski school for juniors and tots, uh, which starts at two years and up, which is very important to get young people involved in the industry. We have some new expanded glade terrain opening up. We did some off-season snowmaking expansion. It'll be our first year in over 30 years opening from the summit. We got some new programs coming in with Ski the Whites. Ski the Whites does rentals for backcountry gear, does retail, and then events. We do Friday night lights at Black Mountain. That's a 10-week series where I get all ages, all abilities up at the mountain, kickstarting their weekend, touring at night with headlamps, using lanterns to mark the course. And really, it's a community builder. It's a chance to come out, meet people, 
but also if it's your first time backcountry skiing, it's a great opportunity to come to Black Mountain, try the gear out in a controlled environment, and then you just go slide up the hill. It's really easy. If you can hike, you can skin, and if you can skin, you can backcountry ski, and it's as simple as that. Black Mountain has something that no other resort has, and I don't know how to replicate it. It's that small mountain vibe. It's perfect for what I do. It's sheltered from the prevailing winds, so when it's cold everywhere else, it's nice and protected at black. It gets full sunlight, and everyone's friendly, and there's just that family atmosphere and that vibe that everyone's there working together to just have a good time. Stay with us on New England Ski Journal. Coming up, we have our country ski and sports segment, and we visit with the folks at Sunday River. So the ski show has actually been happening for 38 years. It's the fourth year that country ski and sport has done it. It's the unofficial start of the ski season around here. Everybody gets excited, comes in, gets last minute gear. It's awesome. For the person who's just starting out, there's a few key necessities that you need. Uh, one of them is gonna be a helmet, goggles, good socks, a nice base layer, waterproof pants, and a waterproof jacket, as well as gloves. For the veteran skier, what's really new in the industry is gonna be lightweight and versatility. And what I'm holding in my hand right now is a shell from Scott. It's a Gore-Tex shell, so this is designed to be worn with a base layer and a layering piece underneath. What's great about this jacket is it's gonna be very waterproof and breathable. When you're on the slopes, you're sweating, it's snowing, maybe raining, but mostly snowing. This is gonna keep you dry and comfortable all day long. It's got a bunch of different ski features on it. It's got a powder skirt. It's really great. So this is gonna be something that would pair great with the shell that I just talked about. This would go underneath, it's gonna be an insulator. So this is what's gonna give you the warmth. It can be worn separately, but mostly just underneath a shell. The shell's gonna keep you dry, and this is what's gonna keep you warm. So the biggest challenge for skiers is getting the right equipment. So the best thing to do is to see a ski professional at Country Ski and Sport. You know, we can walk you through it, make sure you're getting the right equipment for what you're going to be doing. From the biggest exhibitor here at the Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo to one of the biggest resorts in the state of Maine, Sunday River. It is our 60th season at Sunday River. We are going to have our Winterfest weekend, which is our kickoff to winter, and it celebrates our birthday every year. That's the kickoff to night skiing as well, so that's always a big fun event for us. And we'll also have Santa Sunday, which is a classic event. 250 Santas are coming down the slopes all at once, raising money for a good cause. And we'll also have the Maine Brewfest in March this year, which brings over 30 Maine breweries to the slopes. New this year at Sunday River, we've increased snowmaking capacity by 10%. We added four new 500 horsepower pumps, which allows us to pump 10,000 gallons per minute when making snow. We have the Nitro New England Pass, which allows access to Sunday River, Loon Mountain, and Sugarloaf. It's for ages 6 to 29, and it has 12 blackout dates, but it's a very affordable price point for families and for young adults to get out and ski this winter. Sunday River offers lessons for all ages and abilities. And new last year, we started offering the Max 5 First Experience Program, which caps the lesson size at five kids so that they're getting better one-on-one -on -one instruction for their first experience on snow. Um, we're also adding terrain-based learning features to our learning hill, along with three new conveyor carpets. And those really add some progression into the learning process for kids, so it makes it more fun. They're able to enjoy the slopes right from the get-go. We have a newly renovated spa at the Jordan Hotel that offers spa services, massages, facials, nail treatments. It's a great way to unwind after a day of skiing, or if you're not planning to ski at our resort, it's a great way to spend your time at Sunday River. We also offer snow tubing, ice skating, and Black Diamond Family Entertainment Series, which brings different shows that are family friendly. It's a great way to sort of unwind after a day on the slopes. We offer fireworks. And then of course there's Apre Ski at the Foggy Goggle, live music, great main beer on tap, and just a really great experience overall. Sunday River is just a really great family-friendly spot. Whether you're coming up with a bunch of kids or your college buddies, you're going to find a place that really suits your needs. There's eight peaks to enjoy, so you can make the experience your own. We're here at the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo, and as we all know, looking good is important on the slope. 
High Pine Outerwear is all about the ladies. We wanted to focus on fresh patterns and fit and performance gear that really makes women feel great out on the mountain. We really wanted to focus on an unserviced niche in the industry. We're using really high performance fabrics because we wanted to make sure that women were getting the performance that they demand. Currently we have base layers. All of our base layers are moisture wicking and quick dry fabrics. They feel great on. The pants are like a hug. And then we have Italian wool hats that are all lined with a max dry fabric. And that cuts down on hat head and there's no itch. High Pine is by women for women. You can go to highpineoutwear.com and you can browse all of our products. We have a wide array of colors and sizes. It's just super simple. There were plenty of contests and giveaways at the Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo. And one of the more popular ones was the funny money machine put on by Ragged Mountain. Ragged Mountain is an awesome little New England charming resort. It's got 250 skiable acres of terrain, the only six path lift in the state of New Hampshire. We have two summits. We have a quad to our second peak at Spear. We got a lot of gladed terrain. This year we kind of expanded on our gladed terrain actually. Any little intersection of woods throughout the area and the mountain is skiable. We have two magic carpets. It's great for the kids, great place to learn. One of our specialties is the BB Woods Learn to Ski and Ride for Free program. It's been going on for about four years now, and it's going to be taken off at all the other PGRI resorts across the country. It's named after an ex-Olympian. She's about 88 years old right now, I believe. She's worked there for over 40 years, and you get three one-hour lessons. You get a rental deal on snowboard and ski equipment, and you get a discounted package at the end of the season. This season we have a couple exciting things. We did some major renovations on our lodges. We have a new live webcam going in. We're going to be go to a digital app for our trail map for this season. So you'll have your live webcam, you'll have all our amenities, trail updates, snow conditions, things like that that's downloadable for everybody. The owner of the company, Doug Anderson, owns Pacific Group Resorts. He's just recently invested in a solar flower company. So there's going to be a solar flower going in. We have a big sustainable initiative program we're putting in place for this season. I've been fortunate enough to ride a lot of places throughout the country and Ragged's so unique because it has that mom and pop kind of feel. It's got a unique New England charm to it. It's kind of off the radar in a sleepy little town in New Hampshire and it's just got phenomenal skiing terrain. Once you go there you realize how much of a gem it is. Our website is raggedmountainresort.com. Up next on New England Ski Journal, we look at a Massachusetts favorite, Wachusett Mountain. We're at the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo, the official start of the New England ski season. And for those skiers that live in Boston but don't own a car, you can now take the ski train to watch you sit mountain. Ski train, we just did a big event with the MBTA, so you can take it at the North Station Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday nights. Family friendly, great food, amazing conditions. Our snowmakers and groomers are the best in the business. We've got 23 million gallons of water pumped out on the hill. We've got natural snow already, so things are happening up there. The ski school programs for kids are fantastic. We're a beginner mountain, we're a feeder to the big mountains. We've got the Arctic Aces, we've got Polar Kids, we've got Dev Team, so really a la carte. What do you want to do? Do you want to come for a day? Do you want to come for the whole season for 11 sessions? Or you just want to break it up for an hour and a half sessions? Adult skiing is great as well. We've got breakthrough clinics, which are two-hour clinics that happen on Saturday, Sundays, and Tuesday nights. You can take private lessons, you can take group lessons. Again, it's really up to you what suits your schedule. With Mountainside Ski and Ride, it's an amazing. They've got a huge demo fleet. The best part about it is they're right at the mountain. So you come, get, take the demos out, test them, try them right there. Custom boot fitting, anything that you need. Well, we've got some great apres ski right on the mountain. We've got the Copper Top, which has 20 taps ready to go. We've got the Black Diamond. We've got the Wachusett Brewery, which is right down the street, which is really kind of exploding. We've got the Blueprint, which is right in Westminster. So there's a lot of fun places right around the mountain. So one of our best friends is Red Apple Farm. They do cider donuts, they're apple orchard. They're right up the street. We've got Fitchburg, Lemonster, some really neat towns right around. Our proximity to Boston, to Worcester, to Providence, it's big mountain skiing minutes away. When it comes to clothing, most outdoor enthusiasts know that it's all about layers. 
Here's a company that makes performance layers with a little flair. We came up with the Till I Die because people who participate in these sports will literally do them till they die. It's what they love to do, and anyone involved in this industry understands that. What we do really well are performance layers in fun, poppy colors that people kind of gravitate towards. At the end of the day, you're done skiing, you're at the bar, you're opera, and you zip your jacket off. You want some style. What we saw is there was a void in the marketplace for very design-focused performance layers. No one really did it. I was sick of the blacks and the grays and the blues and the plain layering pieces. So we took that and we just added fun designs and people are like, yep, I want one of those. Everything we do is a 60-40 cotton poly, washes well, and it's consistent. Tilldie.com is our website, obviously, and you can catch us on mountain every weekend through April. And when you are walking around, you immediately recognize Till I Die. It's fun and people are stoked on it. We're here at the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo. Looking for a smaller, inexpensive place to ski? King Pine just might be your answer. When people come to King Pine Ski Area and Purity Spring Resort, we offer a lot of amenities for them to enjoy just a week's vacation. We have slope side accommodations, and then at Purity Spring Resort, we have an indoor pool and hot tub that people can take advantage of. We're located in Madison, New Hampshire, which is about two hours north of Boston and about 20 minutes south of North Conway, which a lot of people are familiar with. We offer day and night skiing and snowboarding. We have lift service snow tubing. We have an enclosed ice skating rink that people can enjoy. And we also have a Nordic cross country and snowshoe network. We're a smaller ski area as compared to a lot of ski areas, but we generally have 100% of our trails and terrain open. We utilize very high efficiency, low energy snow making systems, and we have Purity Lake across the street, so we have a significant water source to take advantage of. Generations of families have been coming to King Pine Ski Area to learn how to ski, and we've got incredible kids programs. Most of our ski instructors are PSIA certified, and we're a very affordable, family sort of value driven ski area. It remains family owned, family operated, and it's been running since the late 60s. We offer a lot of discounts and deals to families and individual skiers for day visits or to stay overnight at Purity Spring Resort. Every Tuesday night during non-holiday periods, we have $10 Tuesday nights, so you can get a $10 lift ticket, a $10 rental setup, you can get $10 snow tubing, and you can also get a $10 burger and beer up in the tavern, so that's a great deal. But definitely, people should check out kingpine.com to look at all the ways to save this season, including buying tickets online in advance to save quite a bit of money. Up next, well, we haven't forgotten about Vermont. We'll hear the latest happenings at Jay Peak on this edition of New England Ski Journal. We're coming to you from the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo, where we even got to meet some Olympic skiers at her turn at the She Shed. Her Turn at the She Shed is a female specific programming area where we provide information and conversation to help them really maximize their upcoming winter. We are really interested in helping women find the right mountain, decide on what skis or snowboard or what equipment they want to use. And it's that one-on-one -on -one kind of coaching that I think is really impactful. We have two Olympians here. We have Donna Weinbrick, gold medalist, and also Pam Fletcher is here. Visit kbfashionproductions.com because we have a lot more in store for our females that can ride, glide, and slide. The She Shed is a fabulous place for women to get all kinds of information on how they want to spend their winter. But I'm also here with the World Pro Ski Tour. We've revitalize the tour and we have some great sponsors and we have some great athletes racing. Our kickoff event is in Vail, Colorado. We're in the Waterville Valley, Sunday River, and then we're in Taos, New Mexico with a big finale. If you want to find out more information about the World Pro Ski Tour, all the events that we have going on, go to worldproskitour.com. And finally, we take a look at a unique resort way up in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. J Peak. Just under 80 trails and eight lifts. We get the most natural snow in eastern North America, about 355, 360 inches of snow a year. And that combined with the, the glade skiing at J Peak, it's the highest index of gladed terrain in New England. Those two pieces really made for something that skiers really take away. 
We've got a 65,000 square foot indoor water park that has been around for seven or eight years. We've got a, an indoor climbing facility that has about a dozen climbing routes with a 140 seat movie theater. And then we have an NHL sized indoor skating arena. We have one of the largest indoor learning facilities in New England, our Mountain Kids Adventure Center, that has you know, sort of an indoor ski slope, but also a bunch of different graded areas. We have a ski and ride school that has about 150, 160 instructors. And although JP isn't usually known as a place to learn the sport because it's such an aggressive mountain, the way that we have the place organized is perfect for people to take up the sports because they can progress very quickly through the train and through the lifts. The community that abuts uh, Jay Peak, that are comprised basically of the town of Jay and the town of Montgomery, has a collection of interesting sort of niche or a few interesting places in the town of Montgomery that people can go. There's a salt cave down there that is generally sold out on the weekends that people can go and sort of rejuvenate themselves. We're one of the few independent resorts still left in New England, so we've got the freedom to not only brand ourselves in a particular way, but the way that we treat our employees that we think is pretty special. We have an expectation that the employees will treat our guests a certain way, so in order to be able to expect that, we have to in turn treat them a, a certain way as well. I can't hear you, Boston! That's all the time we have at the 2019 Boston Ski and Snowboard Expo. Time to get out there and enjoy winter in New England. We'll see you next time on New England Ski Journal.